Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with a comedian who, after choosing his wedding date, was royally screwed. That's right, Veronica. Thanks a lot, and thanks, Prince Willie. So, Steve, congratulations. I hear you're about to get married. Thank you. I want it noted that I arrived for this interview in a giant egg. Did Prince William steal your date, or you stole his? No, we had our date first. We had it for several months, and then they just announced it, uh, you know, at the end of last year. We'd already had ours for a few months by that point, so... You know, I get it. He's envious. Who wouldn't want to be me? But um, yeah, it's a little catty, I think, Princey. Now let's compare your day to his. He's going to have the Queen Elizabeth is going to host the reception, and Prince Charles will host the night before, and the Archbishop of Canterbury is going to marry the couple, and they're going to have a carriage processional route to the Buckingham Palace. What are you going to do? I'm going to take a taxi through the slums of St. Lucia and pay a, uh, a whiner and a hooker and uh, do a perform the service, and then we're going to hitchhike home. Nancy may stay in the palace, but the palace is the name of the nightclub at the resort <laughs> that we're getting married at. And uh, we are not going to ride in a carriage, but I have hired some local children to carve out a giant pumpkin. And uh, with any luck, at the stroke of midnight, maybe. So you better be sure to wear a lot of sunscreen then. Are you implying that because of my Irish heritage I don't tan? No, I'll have to wear a lot of sunblock and it's actually a good a good point because sometimes when the girls wear the, the bikinis and then something strapless, they have like tan lines and stuff. So uh, all women at my wedding will be required to be nude all the time. <laughs> Except uh, my mom and mother-in-law-to-be, thank you. Now what do you think is the most important thing to have at a wedding? I'd say the bride, because uh, otherwise it's just you and your buddies and it's not really a wedding. Besides the bride, I know some people think it's the open bride, what do you... <laughs> open bride! <laughs> I think an open bride for sure is the one that I want. <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> open bride everybody! <laughs> <laughs> I honestly just think that the people that you really need to be there are the ones that you, that you really need. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people at the royal wedding that uh, Prince William has never met, for instance. And uh, there will be no one at my wedding that I haven't met, except the priest, because we're going to St. Lucia, and I probably won't understand him, so it might not even be legal. Do you think brides should still wear white on their wedding day? Well, Nancy could still wear white if she wanted to, um, but she's going with an off-white, sort of a cream-colored <laughs> one. I think that, Bri I think that you know, people understand that uh, people aren't waiting till, till they're married to have sex now. I know you haven't, and um, I, I still think it's a nice symbol. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just guessing. I, uh, I think it's a nice symbol uh, when it's white. It's pure uh, as snow. But if you're from the Montreal area, you know that the snow here is rarely white. I just wouldn't get married in a yellow dress because then it looks like a dog pissed on you. Now, how do you avoid those awkward conversations with the crazy family members? Well, here's how I did it. Go get married on a tropical island that costs a lot of money to get to. <laughs> the crazies tend to not be able to afford that. So we've really weeded out the crazies that way. Um, there will probably be some, a few people that are uh, difficult to talk to and just jump into the swim up bar and say adios, amigo. Well, thank you very much and good luck and congratulations again. Thanks, Veronica. Yay, open bride.